Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm super excited today because I get to break down the Junior Lock for you guys. It's like uh, my signature move. I was, it's a move I hit a lot in the gym um, all the time. Uh, I hit this when I was filming, when they were filming at the B team when I was up there for who's number one. And I recently hit it in, I debuted it in competition this past weekend um, in my final of the Life Feather Division, uh, which was super awesome because I used a different setup to, to do it. But today we're just going to go over the generic version of the Jimmy Lock because it is, has like 18 different variations that you can't defend. It's, that's it. It's over. The fight's over. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's not really over. But it has a lot of variations. But... I'm going to go over the generic one. And the generic was the one I posted on um, Instagram, and so I'm excited to show it. Just keep in mind, before I show it, you need to understand leg entanglements, and you need to understand how to slip your knee out, how to place your knee in the right way, so that when you do this move, you don't break your own knee as you go for it, right? Because from, like, the eye, it's, somebody's like, oh, I know how to do it, but they really don't know how to do it, okay? So this is why I'm breaking this down for you. Okay, so I'm going to have Santi come into the single leg X. Okay, and a lot of the times what happens is people don't really like think here. They kind of just reap right away, right? Even if I hold this off and then he starts to reap, it's okay, right? So what I do is you see how my knee is stuck in the middle right now? What I do is I still escape, right? I still escape as I go. So I make sure that when I go, Okay, my knee slips out, right? So it doesn't land here and I don't go for it here. I slip my knee out of that little pocket just enough where it's not going to get any torque even if he has the heel hook, okay? And then what I like to do is I grab the toe bone and I pull it to my chest, okay? So when I pull it to my chest, this creates tension on his knee like an inside heel hook, okay? And then what usually happens is I put my head down. And my arm will catch the heel hook here, upside down. It's very easy for me to torque it like this, okay? Now, what usually happens is somebody feels this and they start to continue to roll. And then I still catch it here because it, there's, there's, it's locked in place. His hip's in place. Sometimes he'll base up on this leg, base up on his right hand. Yeah, he'll stand up. He'll try to stand up. and this this foot now has to be active this foot has to hook and then this one stomps and it's still very hard for him to get out here okay he'll might try to pull this leg out it'll be very hard by the time i do this it's it's too locked in right when you're here your chest is locked in okay it's locked in as tight as it can be torquing and we're still bringing the heel like it's going towards the ground okay here, locking. Everything's tension. My legs are not relaxed. It's here and here, okay, or here. He may try to heel hook me here. He'll lose. I'm going to win every time. This is why this move is so dangerous, okay? This is also a reason why I say you have to know that how to slip when you do this. You can do this from so many setups, okay? But the main thing is that you slip your own knee and you isolate his hip while you attack it's not just like a flashy move that like oh it looks fun and you're just gonna get it that's not how it works okay this move took a lot of practice and a lot of torquing my own knee to figure it out okay so when we go through here even if it's here it doesn't matter if it's here it doesn't matter maybe he turned me he started heel hooking me it's fine no problem i slip the leg out boom right from here i catch rotate if i want to stay up and i want to catch here this is fine, okay? I lock this nice and tight, and I'll finish it here. This is fine too, okay? But most of the time, it's going to be a rotation. This means he has to be static and committed. Usually, he's throwing it so deep that it's, it's easy for you to, to just rotate, and I can catch. I dive with it so because I'm, I'm used to it. So you can start by putting your head down to the mat and basing. Do not put your hand on the mat because you need the other hand to to wrap up. I'd rather put my head on the mat, lock it in and go here. 
okay? Then from here, we rip, okay? And then he steps over, and we catch here. Always plan for them to step over. Stomp here. It does not matter. If I have this locked in, it's going to be very hard. If he slips, right, he can try to slip this leg out, it'll still be pretty hard for him to go because I have something isolating his hip. I'm good to go. And he can try anything. He can try to toe hold me, anything. I have him dead to rights. I'm always going to win this position because once I have this locked in, it's very hard for him to go, okay? So the main thing we're looking at is when he comes in and he gets to here is that you're paying attention, okay? You still have to apply by the rules of slipping, right? Making sure your knee comes out. Do not do the dumb thing that I think everyone's going to do. They're going to be like, oh, my God, I'm going to spin out of this move like this, and then I'm going to go. He's going to break your leg, okay? So this is not what the junior lock is. The junior lock is based off of, structure on the body right and isolating their joints so that i get a breaking mechanic going on okay it's not like some flashy like i do this whole thing also it's higher percentage to catch when somebody's committing to a heel hook if the person if you go for it and you miss it it's this is where the, this is where my system for the junior lock comes really cool because you'll just get back takes like all day right um we're not going over that today, though. Just showing you the generic version. For that, you need to, like, you know, purchase a future instruction or something like that, okay? But essentially, when I, when I do this move, if I miss, I can, I'm still in good position because I can still spin out. He's still stuck, right? Um, you do have to watch your knee torque, right? So, like I said, you got to get comfortable with it, right? So, there's a lot of ways to do it. So, one, right? Two, I pull out. When I pull this out, this is automatically to my chest. When I bring it to my chest, the reason why it's here is because, look, I have internal rotation on his knee, and now I'm able to actually pull and catch. A lot of the times, I go from toe bone, pass, heel, catch. And I can do it here, no problem. One, I can put my head on the mat. One, and then he can spin out. When he goes to spin out, it's, it's automatic. He's going he's gonna to tap. He's going to probably roll the other way again, right? And that's not going to matter either because, because I can extend my leg in, I'm good to go. He may try to heel hook me here too, right? He may try his own heel hook here, but I'm still going to win, right? Every time we go into a shootout, I'm going to win because I'm in better positioning than he is, okay? The main thing is when you go for this move that you pay attention to, to your own knee. And I can't stress this enough. This is why I put advanced technique because it's not something you should be trying if you just learn leg locks. It's something that... You should be playing with all the time. But making your opponent like suffer for doing a reap is important. And that's what oh, that, that's why this move is so beautiful. Um, something I hit all the time. I've been doing this move for a long time. Um, I think it was only on caught on camera. Um, again, I, I, when I was rolling at the B team where I did it. And then, uh, again, I debuted it. Right. So there's a couple times. But this is something like I've done for a long time. Um, it's something that I've developed a system off of. So just be careful when you use it, okay? But a lot of the times people don't think. People don't think. They get here, we go inside, he goes in, he catches, he goes right for that re. He turns the leg, he grabs the heel, and he's going. He's committed his hands, and that's important. Because I'm look, he's 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 committed. Okay, cool. Right? And it's automatic tap. Not only is it a fucking amazing move and it looks beautiful. Right, right. Uh, move with my name has to look beautiful, but it's so dangerous for him, and it's so high percentage if you know how to catch it. Okay, and I hook here, and I'm not in danger. Let's say I lose the slip, everything. Go ahead, slip. Okay, not in danger. It's it's, it's fine. It's, if you know what you're doing with leg entanglements, you should be okay. Obviously, I recommend you practice regular stuff before you come to this, but high level Juni lock. You know, um, just don't get junior locks. <laughs>